this is the door and then you come in and then this is the main room yeah and then that's my parents room that's my brother's room over there stinky head and then that's my room over there and then that's just the room we have here we have Oliver struggling with a sock no yes no yes What's if the lamp is broke, that's why this filter is so bright and I've only got my fairy lights and my main light for proper lighting. So those clips you just saw, um, the first one was of my tent and the second one was of my brother struggling to put a sock on. <laughs> um, I was going to vlog but I didn't do anything that day so I just decided to just show you those clips anyway. About two days ago now, I we came back from our holiday, our camping holiday in Dorset and Lyme Regis and we stayed on this camping site called Hooks Farm. So I'm just going to tell you about the whole holiday from start to finish. So we arrived on Sunday the 24th at around 3pm um, and we put our tent up, which is a massive green tent with four bed, well, three bedrooms, a double one and two singles for me and my brother. The people who went was me, my mum, my dad, my brother and my dog. Um, we had this big cooked breakfast down Gabby's down the road um, first before we went, which is around 11 o'clock. Um, but when we came there, after we put our tent up and sorted everything out with the dog and put everything inside, we headed on back into the town, Lyme. Lyme is spelled L-Y-M-E. Um, and we just looked around the shops. There was a sea salt shop there, which if you didn't know, sells just clothes and stationary things. Um, and yeah, we just wandered around for a bit. So Monday the 25th, um, in the morning we made some friends, our neighbours and people kind of opposite us um, and someone who lived like two campsite things up. Um, but yeah, we went into this place, I can't remember what it was called, and we went to this mill and we went to a cafe called Courtyard Cafe. This is the first picture I took. Um, there was just streams there, there were cows there. Um, there's a duck. There's, there's a courtyard cafe menu. After that we went popped into Lyme Regis where I took these beautiful photos. And then we went down to Monmouth Beach which is known for loads and loads of fossils being found. And I actually found a couple myself. It's just photos from Monmouth Beach. It's my brother sitting on a tree. That's the walk back up to the normal beach. That's lime. I picked up so many fossils and pretty stones <laughs> that I like. There's one here. Um, here's a rose gold one. Just a few bits of one there. These are the ammonite fossils. I found this rose gold, uh, not rose gold, fool's gold block. It's not fossilised or anything, it's just fool's gold. And I'm pretty sure my brother found this one. It's like amber. Kind of fun. That was quite rare. It costs like 70 odd pounds if you were to put it in a shop. Find little bits of one. I found that one. And there's a few weird ones as well, like these. We had blue pickaxes and a chisel thing. So you put the pickaxe on, you just tap it on, and it breaks soft rock into chunks. It's so soft you could throw it in, it basically just cracks. That's where you normally find fossils, or ammonites anyway. <laughs> we were only a little bit disappointed because my dad was expecting to find like a massive fossil, but we did it. We found little tiny ones instead. So Tuesday the 26th now, we went to two places. Um, first, we went to a willow farm, which I'll show you pictures of now. And they basically get willows. Oh yeah, these are just some pretty pictures of Lime Regis, by the way. Look, the layers of sky, sea and sa um, stones. Um, this is the willow farm. There's a willow crocodile, willow snail. These are just pretty photos that I got on the cafe there. That's all I got at the willow farm. Um, and my dad brought some stuff because he wants to make a willow basket. Or he's going to learn how to. And it's quite interesting, actually. We also went to a place called Beer, which is B-E-E-R. So the actual drink beer. Um, and that was just a seaside-y kind of town with like little canals running down. There wasn't much to do there, but it was a pretty place to take pictures. That's a moth at my campsite. <laughs> Wednesday the 27th now. A lot happened this day. Like most big things happen this day. Uh, we went to a fossil shop at this place. I think it's called Karma or something, beginning with a car, see? Um, 
but um, at the fossil shop I got this um, Hemonite bracelet which is kind of looks like one of my stones up there but that's Melakite and this cost £1.50 <laughs> and it's quite cold but I like it. There's also a tiny little fossil machine uh, uh, museum there and they had this like sculpture of a dinosaur on the wall like very accurate kind of mold of it and it said on one of the signs to have fossilized vomit in its throat <laughs> which was absolutely brilliant <laughs> we then just went into lime again uh oh yeah this is where like the place where the fossil museum and all was it's quite rough up there it's a team this is lime again and then we went to a small aquarium where we fed gray mullets which are just types of fish. We just had like normal fish flakes for them. And we also held a starfish, which was brilliant. He was very rough of the animals, like they didn't care. <laughs> and that's just pictures of the sky at my campsite. Um, but that's all that happened that day. It was a very long day. Our dog was always like knackered at the end of the day as well. And that's rare for my dog to be tired. <laughs> Another interesting day was the Thursday and at the Thursday we went on trains we went on a train um, called the Manston I think it was um, and we went into Corf Castle not Cork because that's in Wales Cork red um, but Corf G-O-R-F-E castle um, we didn't actually go in the castle but we just looked around that place um, and there we go the trains there and we also went into a place called Swanage well what I wasn't really fussed on Swanage my dad wasn't know either but that's the castle and there's a shell yes that is my photography of a bird isn't that just beautiful um oh yeah and we found little swallows in there as well Friday the 29th which is the last full day we had up there and we went to another beach <laughs> Yet again, oh yeah, that was a butterfly I saved in my dog's water bowl. I know, it's amazing. I lost two legs though. Um, it's just sunsets. Um, we just went to this beachy place with lots of, that looks like a, my dog, but it's actually a calf. <laughs> um, another beachy town, as you can see. You hate when people get in the way of the shot, it's really annoying. <laughs> um, but yeah, just a bunch of artsy shots. And lambs, there's loads of lambs there. And that's where I took my last photos. That was the last photo and it just goes to that one back at Christmas time. Um, but, and then and the last thing we did on that day, so the Friday, um, we went mackerel fishing in this boat and the waves were huge. Like, pretend this is a boat, these are the waves. They were going everywhere. I loved it, it was like being on male shore in Trader Manor. But, um, I just loved it. My family didn't really like it though, my brother didn't like it um <laughs> right outside i'm filming the video females don't turn it off don't don't it's what like weakling turn it on <sighs> yeah i caught eight mackerel but i had to let one go because it was too small <laughs> so i had seven all together um my brother caught six and my dad caught like 10 and we took we caught eight, 18 all together it's probably bad maths my dad, dad told me that and we took 12 home and gave some to the campers as well then the last day was saturday the 30th and we just packed the tent away and we went at two past 11 i remember my dad saying and we went just in time we had to be off the camp like about 11 but we we're rebels <laughs> and our neighbors were going as well the same day so yeah that was my holiday. I've got to show you what things I bought, so I'm just gonna quickly kneel down here because my stool is somewhere else. Um, I got these from Sea Salt in line. My mum got the same, but in light blue. They're just socks. Um, I got this postcard of a lighthouse in uh, the Willow Farm, and it's a photography shop. In Dubbridge Smith in line, I just got this, and it went with this and these notes, um, just for like, you know, if I was bored and they came with these pencils they came in this box yeah I ripped it up <laughs> and they're like double-sided pencils so yeah so, yeah bye for you now guys I hope you didn't get depressed while watching this video because you're not doing anything or something but yeah bye